Hey guys, I'm back with some more gameplay. Okay, so in that last video, I did a lot of fixing up of our aquarium after a very big update. Uh, in this one, I might look at expanding it a little bit more. Um, and maybe I'll... It's still busted, right? But I, I might show you some of the uh, some of our decorations. Um, oh, you're right. You know, I just realized we've got this pitted column, right? So we've got this um, this really big cave that we, we, we weren't actually using last week. I forgot we unlocked that. We don't really need it quite yet. It's for the very big animals need the... Um, or if you're having very large shoals of larger animals. Anyway, let's... Um, I don't know what to do, guys. Should we have, like, a long channel coming out here? Uh, or should we kind of, like, extend our loop? I don't really know. Um, this seems like the natural end of this loop. Oh, you know what? Just screw it. Like, like this is okay. I think they'll, they'll come down here. Let's make, like, I don't know, some, like... What, what have we got in terms of tanks? We need to do, use this Belfast tank. That's actually, you know, last week I said, like, most of the contents in the game. I still need to add some more tanks. Um small tunnel tank we'll actually unlock that in the next episode um and gosh you know what i just realized i didn't do in the last one I haven't oh god there's so many things okay so first off eventually these toilets will get dirty but they haven't done that yet so we don't need to do that but that's uh you need the sponge sink for that um this game's big the game's so big that even uh i can't remember all the things in it i can't even remember what i was looking for now um I wanted to look at corals. Yeah, that was it. We've only got the disco mushrooms. I thought we'd unlock something else. No, that's that sponge that I keep not getting. Okay, guys. We're going to make a huge tank. Okay. We're going to do this. And I'm not even sure what I'm going to put in this yet. Now, we're going to turn it this way round. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to make it really big. And then... We're going to use this area as like a sort of staging area. And like totally run out of money, haven't I? Now, the great thing, because this is curved. We can put sharks in it and other stuff that likes the rounded edged tanks. Um, what we'll do is for now. I think we'll block it off there. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, I'll just be able to put some axis onto it. But I don't think I'm going to have enough to do any like filters or anything. So, you know, this is fine. And maybe we could make this like a gift shop in front of it. Because um, I think we've unlocked some gift shop stuff now. I always forget to come in here. Yeah, so we can start selling guidebooks for some extra money. Gosh, let's do it. Um, and... Let's have our little gift shop supply place. So the gift shop mechanic is pretty simple. Okay, the way it works is... Oh, that's the one-way gate. That doesn't actually work at the moment. <laughs> Man, I feel like I'm saying that so much. But look at all the stuff that does work, you know? Um, that's not what I want. What I want is the guidebook supply. So the way it works, okay, is you place down your gift shop stuff and there's five different types of gift shop item and you place them down a lot like vending machines but the difference with these guys is they actually have to be refilled so you have to think a little bit about layout and it's also going to have that that labor cost uh to keep things like stocked up um so and then you obviously you set your prices and you know down the line hopefully i can do some stuff because it, it's just a bit of ui so i hope i'll have time to do it but things like advertising campaigns for certain types of product and that sort of stuff you know so increase the demand for those sorts of things so people kind of um pay more for them and, and and head straight over to them and that sort of thing but right now we just need someone who is going to oh this would be so much better if it was in like rows and showed you this information without you having to look i want someone who isn't very good at other stuff honestly you know what? I'm sorry, Anna. We hired you last week. You're just, um, you're one of the cheaper staff members. We should probably show their salary on this screen, shouldn't we? All right, there's another little note. So she'll come and fill these things up when she's got time. In fact, let's make that her biggest priority. So she'll do this whenever these are empty. Um, Right now, to be honest, gift shop's pretty overpowered. I want to add some more subtlety to the mechanics, maybe. But right now, it's kind of just like, look, they'll just buy it. Um, as long as you don't charge too much. 
there is like a random factor in there um, whether they think it's too expensive but I think at this price basically everybody will buy it <laughs> like that you get a little bit of prestige too this guidebook's cheap oh well let me increase oh yeah no that's how it works yeah I remember now the idea behind it that basically if you if you sell stuff at like a reasonable price then you'll increase the chance of getting some prestige from it um, and if you do it at a high price, there's less chance they'll buy it, but also that you might just lose some prestige because they'll go, oh, this is really expensive. So there's this kind of thing. Do you want to, like, gouge them for extra money, or do you, would you rather that the prestige that comes from kind of selling a good product at a good good worthwhile price? Uh, there's the boxfish. Okay, let's start getting some more corals. So the corals were doing pretty well earlier. Why is this hovering? Um, so there's our lighting system. We've actually grown these corals up. They're now actually worth 20 science each. And that's just two of them. So that's like half the science in that thing. When they start out, they're only worth 10. So, um, yeah, the corals are actually pretty good. They're one of the ones that kind of grows quite a lot. I think this can still grow another bit as well. It's going to go even higher. So, yeah, corals are pretty cool. Um, and they allow you to get a bit more in your tanks because they cake up floor space But of course they're competing with your aquascaping and your decorations. So you've got some tough decisions to make um, We've got a bit more money now. Should we start looking at what we're going to put in this tank? Now when we rank up we can get oh, we've already got access to a shark. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa Okay, we need to get this humpback snapper right because it's large again more UI stuff that needs to be done Okay, so eventually what you'll do is you'll see the ones behind it I just happen to know that if we get this it will open up the option of getting a shark behind it um, And that'd be pretty fun to get our first shark I think it's a tropical shark But if we level up then we'll be able to get, make this a cold water tank which could be fun as well But I think we'll go tropical actually and we'll go for the epaulets um, Okay, let's get humpback snapper so how much how much are these these are like that's only 900 oh whoa i've had this available for ages i should look how long i've had this flame angel fish it's 150 i could get this in like two hours or something in game time hey here's the double filter this will be very useful when we get that in fact let's just go back now here we have two chillers which we can replace with one large chiller if we look here i think it's the same yeah, look, it's you get more, and it's this. Uh, you get more per square, 90 instead of 80. Same reliability. It's slightly harder to fix when this goes wrong. So that's just something to think about. And also, it's over twice the price. But um, generally speaking, as long as you've got skilled people, it's like it's much better to go for the higher level equipment. Um, think that that's going to be basically uh, breaking half the amount of time, which is totally worth it. And as we know, it's mostly people walking, you start walking between things that cost you a lot of time. Um, I'm just looking for anything else that could be updated. Power combi, we've done most of those, I think. This is just when we needed extra power. Don't think there's any point, until we get a double filter, I don't think there's any point trying to do anything there. Uh, wow, we already got the humpback snapper, that's amazing. Uh, okay, let's get the Balan Ras as well. Because I want to just, like, charge ahead for that shark. There's actually a lot of stuff we haven't unlocked yet. Let's put some... You know what, actually, this is probably a bad place for padded benches, because this would be a good place to put maybe some more tanks. Um, because we've got easy access for the staff around here. What's going on here? This water quality's dropped. I think it's because these guys have grown. This is actually a case where we might be able to do it with... Ah, uh, can't fit the rubble in. Oh, that was enough. There we go. Just doing this with the filter power. It's not quite enough. We need someone to come fix this. So, what are we going to put in this tank? We're definitely going to put the humpback snappers in. These eat sand deal. I don't know if we've got any sand deal. And then this one means we won't be able to put any fish less than size 3. But I think that's okay. I think we could probably put some surgeon fish in here as well. These guys are going to grow pretty big. They don't need too much water quality. Uh, let's put... Start with about 5 of those. 
Now, this is a big tank, just to give you an idea, right? This is 248. So we're going to have to really... All right. We're going to have to, like, crank up the stuff. Now, we're going to have to use pumps, because there's just not enough surface area at the back. So... Hmm. If we do them like this... Okay. Let's get even more air, more space. Alright, yeah, there's no point putting that there. We got a wall. Um, I guess we could put some stuff attached to it. So, like, we could put a line here, and then we could put, like, a pump here. So, like, something like this. We can just use the basic pump, because um, we don't really need the ability to go very far. I'm not sure about that pump sound effect. I might have to get that one updated. Right, so you see that that's all connected, right? That's pretty... Oh, is that it? Have I done it? Wow, there we go. Um, and then we need to get some water quality. So let's do a similar sort of thing. Should we start with... Uh, a large filter here. And we're going to probably need a protein skimmer. But... We won't work. Oh, I just realised this is blocked off from access, so we're going to have to be a little bit more smart about this. This is really fun. This is actually one of the first times I've had to... Um, I've done very big tanks before in a little bit of very quick playtesting, um, but I've only done it with the very biggest filters available. I've not done it at this stage of the game where you don't actually have those yet. So this is kind of an interesting, like style you have to think about staff access as well as cramming lots of stuff in a bit of a different dimension to big farmer which was just cramming stuff in sand deal okay excellent well that wasn't too bad was it now i guess i've got to be a little bit careful because possibly who are my feeders i might rename these guys you are feeder one Yep, I'm definitely taking the soul out of this game. You are... Odd job. Girl. Um, you are... A cleaner... Clean feed. <laughs> You're definitely a feeder. You're very good. <laughs> I just realised feeder. <laughs> like, uh, you know, someone who enables someone to uh, eat too much because, you know, they're constantly, like, making them cake and saying, Honey, I bought you some donuts. Um, I never considered that's what that sounded like. You're a feeder too. Um, I should have named these guys. You're a feeder too. You guys, you guys enjoying this? Uh, watching me... Um, rename my guys. Uh, okay, I do... Oh, actually, if I move this, then this will help. Because then I can bring this guy. Then I can have this kind of, like, in front or behind or whatever. Um, oh, this is awkward. So, feeder one. Oh, you have a tiny zone. That's ridiculous. Wow, I haven't updated this in ages. Okay. you got a lot to do, feeder two. Man, you guys are all really slow. You're good at feeding, but you're really slow. Um, okay. Well, I guess you can have this to do as well, but this is going to be too much for you. I think we just need another person, honestly. Your clean feed. And the fixers, they're just everywhere, aren't they? Um, and you're a fixer too, and you're everywhere. So you, you're doing all these odd jobs at the moment, and you're cleaning, so I can't give you a thing, because I want you to clean everywhere. Um, I'm just going to move this guy to the bathroom, because I don't have to miss it. Hmm. Okay, let's just hire another. This is the last... Oh, I've got this person as well. Yeah, this will do. You can train up. Now, I'm going to train Emma up. And you are bad feeder. She's got a bit of empathy. 
not very much precision. She's very slow. Man, I got a lot of like really slow people. I've actually added a load of new staff. Some of them are a bit faster. Um, feeding. Okay, and talking, right? Yeah, like staff talks and stuff. Yeah, I've got to put that in as well. I've got again, got all the artwork. I've got it designed. But uh, man, it's so this game is it's big. There's a lot of stuff in this game. Okay. So something like this, I'm just going to do it here as well, I'm not sure whether they're... I need to do that for the platform or not. Okay, that'll do. Let's put some of this cool new stuff in. So what, what should we do a pirate tank? Oh, pirate's just so like classic, isn't it? I cannot resist, guys. It's so pretty. Ah, uh, what's the wrong one? Do pirates like palm trees? Actually, I don't think you can put the palm trees in there. Oh, anchor though, that totally works. Um, and you know, we can put these barrels in. So I've deliberately got quite like... In fact, my artist designed the... Actually designed which ones were in the game as well. I don't know why Aztec is under shipwreck. But anyway, um, but he's deliberately designed it so that they sort of overlap a little bit. So you've got like anchors and compasses and ship's wheels, which could also go with pirate themes. So it's kind of, you don't just have to stay within the theme. There's obviously a lot of aquatic stuff in there. It's, it's an aquarium game. Um, so we can mix it up a little bit. I don't know, something like that. It's like a shipwreck. Um, do we have any kind of like, I don't know, maybe some of these barrels will kind of like make it look like ships gone down. I repeat, ships gone down. I did not swear. I like to keep it PG. Um, and you, you guys will know that I don't always keep it PG. So <laughs> but I try. A little bit of driftwood. It's drifted on the currents. Ye old pirate currents, yarr. Um, I think we need a bit of kelp up in, all up in, up in here. Oh my god, so many different large fish I have to get before a shark. But you know, I gotta say, the um That surgeon fish is gonna go really nice in my pirate tank. Oh we can put some angel fish in here. It needs a, a really big tank. It's easily big enough. Um but Yeah, I don't think there's any problem with this guy. Oh, I clicked on the wrong one. Oh yeah. That's going to go down a treat, guys. You like that? Yeah. Okay, let's get the big protein skimmer on there. Oh, I'm going to show you some sound effects in a sec as well. And this kelp is very good. This feather club is just as good, so we're going to get a bit more variety. Um, and of course, variety is just good because guests appreciate it. So what is that? And you know what, you, you guys appreciate it too, I'm sure. Look, it's a hive of activity. Now let's listen to some sound effects, let's see if you can hear it. So I'm going to bring up the atmosphere volume now. Now each of the bits of equipment just sounds like a little bit different, right? You've got the, that's the heater, and you've got like the really bubbly protein skimmer. This filter is kind of bubbly as well, but it's it's a bit higher. Let's go find you a bit of like a chiller. It's got this sort of crackly sort of sound to it. You could hear it better if it didn't have the, uh, the pump and the, the, the filter right next to it. But it's kind of cool because when you come into a really busy area, you get like it all mixed up together. Uh, and there's another couple of types of filtering as well to come, so... They're in game, I just mean I haven't unlocked them yet. Oh, I just did that wrong. Where was it, guys? Uh, the 10? So, yes, yeah, my sound guy's done good. So, um, these guys, I think, are tricky to feed. Oh, no, perhaps not. She's just really, really bad at it. That's okay. I'm going to move feeding in the middle. Not eating each other like good fish we've been smart now we want ecology so I was I've been really silly because like I, I put basically tons and tons of science fish in here 
You know what, I just realized, I don't think that humpback snapper is getting me anything. Right, yeah, some of these fish don't actually earn you any points at all. Uh, whoops. Um, I just keep forgetting to go back. Um, I think they're going to give you ecology points, so it's a shame that they're not giving me anything, because it would have been quite useful. Now, this porcupine puffer, um, it's not armoured. It, why the hell is the porcupine puffer not armoured? Like, I swear it's meant to be. Okay, I'll ask my researcher. Now we need to put this big stuff in that gives me ecology. It's size 5. I don't know if that'll be okay. Oh no, you know what? That shark eats crustaceans. So as long as... What's this? When this guy's full size... He'll be size 16. He'll eat stuff up to size 8. Mm. Oh, then, okay. We can put unicorn surgeon fish. That's perfect. Oh, here's the shark. The epaulette shark. And that's also generating... Ecology. Now I forgot, I, I mentioned that he likes rocks. I haven't put any rocks in yet. Which is pretty silly of me. Can I, is there any? There we go. And then we'll just fill up all the uh, all the remaining space with rocks. But you see, by rotating them, you can kind of um, make it feel look a little bit less. Uh, kind of... It's not quite as clear where one rock starts <laughs> and the next one ends, you know? Um, like, I think this kind of just looks like a big field of rocks, uh, which is pretty cool. So let's put some unicorn surgeon fish in here. Okay, so that's going to be easily big enough. Um, well, only once it grows up, to be fair. Do we have enough plants? How many of these can we put in? That's the thing, you know what, the plant thing should show while you're placing them. And this is, you can see, the pressure on needing better and better plants. And I also need the rocks, you know, for the things. And now I'm like, oh, I put too many decorations in, you know? Feels bad, man. Bump, 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 bump. Um, well, you know, I can still put kelp in. And by rotating it satisfy my you see look look like the fact that these two are closer and this one's further away imagine if these were like duh, 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 dead center it just it, i think it makes a really big difference and i've really like properly filled up this tank i think that is the whole thing full <laughs> don't start saying i know what you guys are thinking well you know if you hadn't moved all of them off center it'd be really obvious whether it was full or not I could have a little option to make it, so it will show you. I really want to get this thing finished. Um, we just need as much ecology as possible. Is there anything else that generates lots of ecology? A bleak line doddy backs are not bad, but they can you only put one per tank, which is a real pain. Foxfish rabbit fish are pretty good, to be honest. When these guys are grown up, these guys are going to be very good. Um, and they need green. What about some of these, like, box fish stuff? Because they're not going to get eaten, are they? Because they count as su double size. 18. That's not that good. Is it? 4 for 18. 7 for 28. Oh, that's not... Maybe that's not bad. For, like, you got to look at it per size. This guy's 3 for 18. But it's, it, it'll still get yomped even with a double size. Yeah, and this guy doesn't actually need any, like, aquascaping. Are any of these bullies? Nope. Okay, cool. Put some of those in. Um, and hope they don't get eaten before the end of the episode. I promised you last week that I'd show someone getting eaten for science. Um, and I intend to do that now. We're not going to put any crustaceans in. Because getting eaten by the epaulette. A couple of epaulettes. And then I think once everything grows up, this will be pretty full. Um, we need one more pump um if i do it here we get another large protein i should do it oh we need supplements for the epaulettes oh what happened there oh i did i think i, <laughs> I got the epaulette but i didn't actually um get anything else so this is the messed up moon jelly i'm just gonna get this flame angel fish because it's gonna like look at this <laughs> Which I like, it's like the classic thing in like Civ or whatever, whereas if you finally go and get something you've been putting off for ages, you get it in like two seconds. Oh, clownfish, right. It's the small ones, I kept going for the larger ones. 
Uh, and this is a bit wrong. Like this epaulette, it's size 10. But there's something wrong going on with the way the scaling works. That basically, because I scale it by length, um, and it's it's very long. This one, it kind of, it, it should totally be bigger than that. Basically, at size ten, um, like it's, it looks smaller than this unicorn surgeon fish. But this unicorn surgeon fish is only size eight because it's just so much thicker. Because it's got so much girth and it's so much less long. So um, that's just something I gotta I gotta fix up. Anyway. Um, Let's see, because these humpback snappers, they will eat anything size 3 or less. Once they've grown up, they will eat something up to 8. And these longhorn cowfishes, before they grow up, are going to be size 8. Therefore, ergo, we might be able to see something get eaten. Which I don't encourage, but, you know, for science. Wow, tons of more awesome stuff. Pretty cool, guys. We could get something else for our... Uh, gift shop or let's face it the nitrate reactor is pretty good the tunnel tank oh, it would be fun to show you guys the tunnel tank yeah go on let's go for that nitrate reactor is the next type of filtering so I'm totally going to wrap up shortly but without being distracted I'm going to do one more thing we're going to do a supplement cabinet um, okay we finally got enough small stuff that these have now overtaken yeah let's go for the frilled anemone which is currently a bit broken looking um, and hopefully I'll get that fixed before the next vlog. It doesn't matter, I, I can just... I... Oh, whoa, whoa, why are you unhappy? Whoa, 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 what happened, Pedro? Got a negative. I'm getting bored of seeing small rocks. Yeah, you and me both, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what we really, really want to do, right, is we want this guy to grow up. Okay, so let's max out the speed. Oh wow, that's making it run, like, lower frame rate. What the hell's going on? When I do that, it, well, that was really weird. It just ran, like, slow for, like, a second there. You know, let's go into, like, um, cinematic mode. One sec. Oh, did you see it, guys? <laughs> so there's something wrong with the sizes, right? Um... Where I didn't really get to show you the cinematic mode. Um, these, um, basically stuff looks smaller. Like, when you've got stuff that has multiple sizes, when it's at its half its size, it's too small. So, like, these guys are actually pretty big. These are bit meant to be. These are big fish that you can put with quite big sharks and they won't get eaten. But, um, they don't look that big when they're at the half size, basically. So, yeah, it's just something I've got to fix. Um, it's, it's, it's a bit complicated. But um, now these guys have all grown up and it's actually just put up the requirements of this thing again. So I wish I had that nitrate reactor coming really. But um, Let's so just put another filter on each side. I mean this is like, if this stuff breaks down it's going to be like so... It's going to be like a full time job just getting around it all. Um, so these guys have just grown up. I'm going to put those back on. I haven't actually shown you like these emptying. That's weird, look, it goes slow and I turn it round to this way, and then it goes fast and I turn it round to this way. What's what makes it go slow from this angle? Really bizarre. Uh when look that, that's the last gift shop thing's gone. Okay, so now whoever does the gift shop is gonna come and fi fill it up for us. Ta-da! Pretty cool, guys. Um, so at the end of the day, there is a chance that one of these cowfish... I have a feeling one of these has already been eaten. Didn't we put four in? I don't know. But at the end of the day, one of these cowfish is possibly going to get eaten. Honestly, with this many red, uh, humpback snappers, there's a good chance that one of them is going to get eaten. Let's watch it. Watch it happen. Cinematic cam. Oh, these guys both look a little bit interested. No, they're both just swimming past. And... Nope. None of them went for the cowfish. Let's just double check that is possible. Size 4, but it counts as size 8. And these guys will danger to size 8 or less. 
Oh, I don't know why that guy just like appeared again. Okay, we're gonna go to the end. Cinematic camera. Oh my god. Ah. Oh my god. Go away. Uh, oh, this crab is a bit broken as well. It's, it's on one side. All the crustaceans are a bit broken. Um, okay, here it comes, guys. All right. Cinematic camera. Now, are any of these humpback snappers looking like they're going to eat something? They only do it at the end of the day, okay, guys? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Man. I'm really disappointed I didn't get to show you that. I really thought there was a good chance. Like, the maths is something like a 1 in 8 chance, but if you do it 5 times for 3 different animals each, it's like a very good chance that, that would have happened one of those times. But, uh, you know, dem cowfish is spiky, so what are you going to do? Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, look, we made a shark tank. It's going to look even better when our tiny, tiny epaulets grow up, but that's not going to happen for another 5 days, so I'd better leave it there. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!